Good morning guys, welcome to today. Today is Saturday and it is a glorious day. I feel like I do not know how to just sit down and relax. So we're not gonna sit down and relax, we're gonna go. Where are we going? We're going yard sailing. We hardly ever get to go. Um, the girls are clearly so overjoyed with going yard sailing. Like it's their favorite thing. Sophie, where are we going? Yard sailing. What? Yard sailing. What? Yard sailing. Are you excited? Think of the treasures you're gonna get to buy. Like. Yeah, and think of the brush you could find they at a yard sale. Brush your hair, turn around, and do a twirl. Yeah, that's happening. Plus you have dirt all over your face. What did you even eat today? Pop tart? Dirt. Anyway, it's true. We are going to yard sales and then we're gonna come home. We were supposed to go see Sabrina today, but then it got canceled, unfortunately, because that would have been amazing. Gabby is having breakfast of champions, which is cottage cheese and fruit, like a regular girl. <laughs> No, it is pizza. Three pieces. Yeah, because you know she's growing. So we just went to two yard this sales on this little tiny street and we found a public water spot. Like where we live, there's a lot of public areas with water that um, nobody knows about unless you just kind of come across them. Yeah. Anyway, so this is what we found and this is the perfect spot to bring our horses. Your voice. Yeah. My voice is because I have not had coffee yet. I'm still asleep. Like, isn't this the best place to bring your horses? There's a little spot over here. And you could just walk right in. And don't trip. <laughs> but yeah, like. Done. Like. What? Can I put my feet in? Is it warm? I videoed recently about Storm and putting him on some ulcer medication. I may have made you guys all stressed out and worried about nothing. Our vet does not think he has an ulcer. Our trainer does not think he has an ulcer. He probably doesn't have an ulcer, but so many horses have ulcers and they go undetected. And I just want to make our horses protected because they don't get a chance to graze all the time and that puts them at risk. Not that he's showing signs. Um, the signs I was saying is that whenever Gabby gives him his first like, you know, canter, he always throws up his head and it, it, that's just him. He's done it with his old owner. It's just him, but I just want to make sure I'm just being extra cautious and I have constant access to my vet you guys the stuff that I bought is all natural and it was recommended to me by our vet so don't worry our horses even think about needing a vet they're there we are out uh, yard sailing in Mennonite country and this is how they travel imagine imagine we could go anywhere with our little buggy and our horse we are back in the trailer. We bought lots of stuff. Um, I'm gonna show some of it to you guys a little later in the week, like when we go home. I got something really exciting that I'm excited about, and um, yeah, I'm gonna show you later. Anyway, we are back in the trailer, and we have been doing the most exciting thing ever. Like, we have been doing nothing. <laughs> Literally, I got a book at a yard sale, and I've been sitting in this chair, reading, this is it. I do not recommend it for any children, it is, yeah, really, kinda. Um, I don't even know how to describe it. I've only read one chapter and it was pretty graphic. I'm not sure if I'm actually gonna finish reading it or not, but um, I'll see if it gets any better as I go. Anyway, we got a bunch of junk. It's all over the table because when we go home, uh, Shayla, if you guys remember her from our video, she came by and the girls are all gone to the park. So that's why Sam and I have been getting to rest. Right, Sam, what have you been doing? 
Absolutely bored out of my wits. Are you bored? Let's go for a walk. Bored. You wanna go for a walk? Come on, guess. Okay. Speaking of the devils, all three of the devils. I just vlogged how you guys were at the park for hours. Did you find boys there? Come on. No, no tell the truth. A bunch of little annoying kids. How old were they? Like seven? Seven? No less. Like three? Yeah. <laughs> maybe. Maybe three, maybe. Anyway, we got these. Um, we got this science kit for homeschool. I'm doing all of our back to school stuff hauls soon. So I'm gonna do a curriculum haul and clothing haul is coming out soon. And so we're gonna do also a rotting haul. Like we're gonna get lots of new rotting stuff for us. Not for our horse, but for us for, for fall. For our horse? Like for saddle pads? No, no more saddle pads. How many saddle pads, Shayla, is the right amount of saddle pads? Two. How many saddle pads do you have? Seven. Seven. A riding one and a show one. Yeah, a riding one and a I show have one. Eight. Yeah, and Sophie has eight now too because you got the hot pink one. No, she has seven. She had six and I had seven. We also got a whole bunch of these containers. It cost five dollars, but we got like fifteen of them, and they're all good for slime. Slime. So the girls are going to be making slime. Sam also bought them this at a yard sale and it was $5. This and so it's to make no, it's slime. slime. It's dried out. How dare you do this to poor slime? I didn't dry it out. Oh well. There's no use in looking back. Gotta laugh or gotta live. Cause I'm so over the past And I'm living it fast mm -hmm. Underneath the strong lines Ready for a crazy Pull inside light, push them over Uh, no, turn the corner Kick him Kick him You may wear a western saddle, dude, but yeah, he doesn't like it so much. He does. He goes back to his western roots of going slow. When you do western pleasure, they walk slower than he's walking right now in the show ring. It's painful. Okay, you're gonna have to spank him a little more than that. There you go, you gotta go like this. Whoop, 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 look at me. Spank, 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 spank. Back and forth, one and then the other. You gotta get them out of the reins. There you go. Go. Good, and just sink into your seat, and he'll slow down into that jog. Head lag in the corner. Look straight up down the wall.
Let him slow down. Just let him be and he'll slow down into his jog. No, not quite. Lean back a little bit. Little squeeze of your reins. There you go. Take your legs quietly off his belly. There it is. Put him back into the corner. Is that a little smoother? How are you not enjoying that? Hold and follow the motion. One, two, one, two, one, two. Turn and go across those two dark poles. You see or you're the boss. Pull them back out to the wall. You're gonna come around and you're gonna go across over those two brown poles. Already? Yeah, the dark ones. Talk. You can always reach behind you and grab the little tails on the back of your saddle. He's and kind of Gabby no matter where we are. Let's go a little faster and rise. Good. Sink down in your heels. Keep them going. Click, click, click. That's it. What do you mean you need to practice the posting? You've got the posting. You're good now. Good. When you hit the rail, pick up your rising trot. He needs to actually move forward. Here we go. Nothing changes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm just gonna come in there and chase you. <laughs> hey, hold up, hold up. Ah, uh, Chloe chase you. <laughs> Put a carrot on a stick, I think it might work for him. Yeah, yeah I'll show you what those are. Not the same thing, but yep. Keep clicking! Keep clicking! Yes! Good job! See, now you and Sam can go for rides. You can ride Storm, you can ride Stella, you can go for trail ride. A couple's day. <laughs> yeah. Sit, Kiss and Tanner. Need your left heel. Slow him down. Don't let him speedy trot.
I'm screaming. Right, you guys I just had my lesson and uh, we're going on a quick little trail ride to cool out because it's super sweaty as you can tell by my hair anyway I learned some things and I want to share them with you guys so number one for any of you guys out there that are saying like I can't do rising I can't get it I just can't get it it's because your horse doesn't teach you properly <laughs> so basically I tried rising and to get it 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 and I couldn't get it but with storm he has a really defined bump, 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 bump. So it was so much easier. So much easier. Like all the other times I couldn't get it, it was because the horse didn't have a really clear defined motion. It was more like. They didn't really. They didn't really Let's go to the end of the driveway. What? Go to the end of the driveway. Yes, come on, I'll come with you. So uh, that was number one. And number two, um, uh, my instructor, our instructor was telling us like, you know how I always say that and everybody always says that, um, uh, riding different horses will teach you something new. And I, I get that, I understand that, but I didn't really get it or understand it until today because like with the rising, I couldn't learn that on another horse. Storm taught it to me. So now that I learned it on him, I'm hopefully be able to um, apply that to other horses. What? What? I never used to have this enough thigh muscle. Yeah. From Spencer. Whoa. Nice. Oh, Spencer. Oh, Spencer. Oh, Spencer. Come on, keep going. Um, so there was that. And the other thing um, that I don't want to forget is that I 
really like cantering on other horses better than I like cantering in Storm. On Sabrina, I felt like I was flying. It was like such a smooth motion. It was like, whoosh, whoosh. And with him, I don't even know what the motion is. It's just fast and even though it probably looks slow, but it's just, I don't know. It's not like a, it's not as fun for me. Like cantering on Sabrina was the best thing on earth. See, this is why I want to have a trailer, a horse trailer. I want to go for big, huge, long trail rides in the woods. Another thing that I learned was that Storm likes so Gabby way better than me. So no matter where I am in the arena riding him, he finds her. And Sam told her she can stay in the arena this time because last time he cantered with me on him over a jump and, and did a jump. And um, so she sat in the tack room close to the window, but not paying attention. She was just sitting at the table there working on a craft that she was doing and for a horse camp. And he literally found her. He went right up to the window, put his nose straight there. They were they were just separated by glass. That's how close he was. He stared right at her. She wasn't even paying attention and then we walked on. But yeah, he finds her no matter where she is. Yeah, he did. What? You saw him come over and then you just ignored him? Mom, come on. Canes are good. He lifts you out of his trap, but it's like a up forward move. Oh, yeah, and that's like why. Yeah, that's good. That's good that he does that. What were you saying? You're saying that he lifts you up and forward when he canters? No. When he trots? Yeah. You should be doing that with bare feet. This is not cool outside. Gabby's flying, you guys. Flying. Don't move. So, so it's just like. Oh, yeah. Oh boy. He's like, oh, he all this. He'd be a really good trick riding horse. Yeah, he'd be a good trick riding horse. Okay, let's go. And he'll do a walk. He's like, come on, get done with me now, he says. Don't forget to make sure to hit that subscribe button down below.